everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to make this neat pendant. Uh, the colors that I'm going to use is black and the mica color peacock feathers. This is Primo Accents. I, be, I, be, I believe it's peacock feathers. Now, um, I'm not going to use the pink today, but you can get a gist of it. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous when you use one of the clays with mica powder like this one here because once you put the resin on you get this amazing amazing shine okay so I rolled out black and I have my feathers here I'm going to place one on top of the other give it a nice push make sure that they are stuck together now I do have a background stamp here I think it's cobblestone I think that's what it's called I'm gonna take it, flip it. Du, 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 du. Let me see which one do I want, which one do I want? Mm. Ah, okay, we're just gonna go for this. And now you need to make sure that you press and you wanna press it hard. Press, press, press. You wanna make sure that you have beautiful, beautiful um image stamped onto the clay and make sure that it's nice and very well defined and I think this one is going to be because I already see that I can somewhat see the repulse okay all right well here you go you can see some of the clay actually started popping that's probably because I did not condition it well enough Alright, so now let's start shaving it and let's see if I can use some of the, so basically I'm just going to go and try to shave anything that is sticking out so you have the little black pieces stick out from the bottom. So for that the turquoise actually is rolled out on the thinnest setting of the pasta machine. I rolled it out on the thinnest setting and I'm collecting those little pieces right here. See if I can make a pendant with those two. Uh, the black one is on the thickest. The, the turquoise is on the thinnest. So you can see right here I made one pendant and this one here is actually made with all those little pieces that I was collecting when I was shaving it. So let's just shave, shave, shave. You don't want to go too deep, which sometimes it's almost impossible not to go deep because <laughs> you do want the black to pop out. Just continue on. You see that, okay, sometimes it's really like this one, I cut it way too hard, too deep. Actually, it came out okay. All right, so here are the, here's the part that had the cracked clay. It's all right. It's amazing because right now the clay just looks blah. But once you bake it and you put the um, the resin on, it just pops it out and it's so gorgeous. All right, so you're going to just continue on just like that until you get the desired. I'm going to finish that off later. I just want to, I don't want to waste too much time doing that. I just want to show you how to create this one pendant. All right, and here I'm collecting all those tiny pieces and we'll see if I can make a pendant out of that. That will be kind of cool. I should be able to. Open a few more here. A few more to the collection. Okay, this one needs to be shaped a little bit. All right. Okay, so now, here's what we're going to do. Mm 
I'm going to take that and we're going to cut. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I'm going to give it a nice roll first. So it's nice and smooth. Make sure it's nice and flat. There. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so here we go. Here we have our clay. And like I said, it's really amazing because once you put the resin on, it's just going to pop it out like crazy. So I did not roll out black clay, which I should have. But ideally, I would have taken the black clay. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I think I may have something here that is already. Yeah, some of them. No. I would have put that on another piece of black clay just to make it a little bit thicker okay and then I would do the cutting but right now what I'm going to do is I am going to cut it and also I decided that I'm going to make two earrings out of it so I'm going to cut it here And I'm going to flip it because I want uh, the reversed image for the earrings. I like when the earrings are somewhat the same size like that, facing the same side. And there you go. Alright, so my friends, here you go. This is what we're going to have. There. And now you can bake it. And we're going to add resin on it. And this is what you're going to get. Isn't that gorgeous? It is just so, so beautiful. So let me see if I can do something with, with this here. So, let's see if we can just roll it. I have done it. With the other one here. So, it should come out okay. Not sure if I like it. Let's see if. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure if I like this as much as I like that. I think I had many more bigger pieces, so I don't think that I'm gonna do it. I don't think that I'm gonna do it with the leftovers. It just didn't work out for me this time around. But here you can see that I had more pieces and they were more spread out and it just looked really good. Here I think I should have taken my time and done that done a better job with it. Here is another one and I did the two consecutive uh, sizes so you can see this is the smaller one is the pink one and the larger one is the the bigger one. So I'm going to create all those pendants and you'll be able to see them on my blog. And for now, I'm just going to go and pop it in the oven. Till next time my friends, ta-ta!